Hello everyone, this is DJ Music, and I'm back with another video. He is too. And we're going to be doing some MC Edit filters today. Um, I have two new ones that I'm going to release, and they are going to be related to finding and replacing text in command blocks, and actually finding command blocks that you forget where you place them, because that happens a lot to me, and I decided to fix it. So the first one we're going to be doing is going to be the replace. So we have say happy face, say happy face. Let's make this one a tell rock command. So tell rock. All players, text colon, let's say happy face again. Oops. This is just how I code it. You don't really need the, code, the quotes, but I use quotes just because it's a string. And that's a programmer thing. <laughs> Color colon red. So we have happy face in this guy. We have happy face in this guy. Now, if we go into MC Edit, you can see that these are still set. Happy face and happy face. So let's select them. Go to filter, and you're going to be going to the edit command block right there. So this is actually based off of Texel Elf's Texel F's, I believe. Is. I'll put his name on the screen right now. Uh, his filter was a lot more complex than this. I thought it was way too confusing, and I made it a lot simpler. It's a lot easier to use, and it doesn't have all of the uh, regular expression stuff because I don't use it. You can use it if you want to use it. I'll link to his as well. But I used his, and then I also made some changes just to make it better for my use. So let's see. Um, the text, the sectional character is basic. If you want to add color text, so you can say, like for this, what we'll do is we'll actually set this. So let's do just replace string. We want to find happy face, and we want to replace it with the golem has destroyed the village. Cool. I don't know. You can just do that. So then you'll look for happy face. It'll replace it with this. As long as this is set to replace, it'll do that. If you want to set a command um, in a command block, you can use the set command. If you want to use the set command, you can also use the dash. Or this is actually the signal right next to the, the symbol right next to the one. So it's not the um, the single quote. It's the one next to the one. I just use that because it's never really used in command blocks, and it makes it easier to type. Because um, so you might actually use that in command blocks if you use tell raw. So I use that. So yeah, let's set this command. And now if you look at the quotes, you will see, there we go, uh, you'll see text the golem has destroyed the village. So now what you can do is if you go to, if you, click, if you select this guy, and then click filter, let's say we want to set the command. So go to set command, and let's say, this is actually a bug, um, this is also kind of good because with the 1.7, they've actually broke the say command. So you have to do a separate color for each word, otherwise it'll turn out to be white. Um, this is pretty much one of the most annoying things that I hate. But the way to fix this, like let's say all players, uh, let's say are near the village. Okay, so this will say all players, the players that are near the village. Um, and then what you want to do is for each one you want to do the symbol, and then just do the color code. So I'll use red, so four. And you, instead of just doing it once, you have to do it for all of them. So just keep on going all the way next. Oops, sorry. There we go. And this last one. So this will actually make it so that every single color, you can also do multiple colors this way. Um, just make sure it's on the set command, which it is. Click filter, and go back into Minecraft. Okay, back in Minecraft, you will see that this is actually red, which is how it's supposed to be. And if you click there, you can see my name is green, because I'm on a green team. And then they're near the um, you can say is slash r if you want to be gr grammatically correct. But yeah, this will say all the names. If you have two different players on the server, it'll say DJ Music and then uh, and the player name. But end will be in the wrong color. So just make sure you do that in that correctly. But this is a good way to make sure that um, all the text is colored because the way they used to do it is used to just color the first word. Like you just color r and then the entire thing after that would be colored. But since 1.7 they broke that. So I use this for my um, uh, trifold map just because, like, for the kill streak, you have to have separate colors and it just makes it easier and makes it look better instead of having white text, which is boring. And then, of course, we have this, which apparently isn't red. Um, yeah, there's a hitting. There's also a hitting character right here, which is why it's broken. There we go. That happens sometimes. There it goes. So yeah, that's that. Moving on to my next filter. Okay. So for my next filter, this is actually a finding filter. It'll f look for a selection um, and find a command block that has a specific um, coordinate or something like that. 
Let's, take for, let's see this. So hello world is in this. Uh, you can also find text that's in between text. So if you wanted to search for hello world, you just type this in the uh, find thing. And it will, if you type in between right here, it'll look through the entire string and find in between. And then you can also use it for regular command blocks if you want to do that. Uh, for the set block, I personally like the second part of the filter more than using the text text find, just because it's more accurate. So yeah, I'm going to go and show you over here. This is the all commands. So I have a summon, um, which with these chords, I have a test for block with these chords, and I have a set block with these chords. And then it also works for um, relative values, so summon, which is always fun to watch them die. Uh, test for block, and um, summon with these chords. That's always fun. <laughs> so yeah, let's go into MC Edit. Okay, so now that we're in MC Edit, let's go find the beginning of it, which is over here. Let's go up a little bit, there we go. Okay, so this is the Hello World one. So if you, uh, if you see what it looks like, it says Hello World. If you want to figure out where this is, like let's search, let's select an area like this. There we go. Go to filter, and now you want to select the find, um, find command block text. So yeah, this is the text. You can, if you want to type it, you just type "Hello World." It does do capitals, I believe. So make sure that you do the right capitals that you want. And if you want to use the find thing, make sure all these are dechecked. So just do that. It'll say where it is. So um, in this entire radius, there's one command block that has this information, so that's the location. If you go to that those coordinates in the world, then that's where it is. So now if you type in between, in all caps, if you go to filter, let's do this, in, oops, uh, between, click filter, it has found it. This location, three blocks over. And then of course, with the set block, so deselect, select a new radius, there we go, filter, um, so now let's look for a set block command. Anything with set block. Click filter. There are two things. These two blocks right down there, and that's where they are. If you find, if you actually, um, let's see this. So let's say you're looking for a test for block in this radius. If you type test for block, click filter. Um, because there's only set blocks here, it'll say none found. So make sure that you. That, that's what that. Would, that's what happens if there isn't any. Um, but yeah. So if it's actually like any uh, regular command, like test for block, tp, set block, spawn point, or summon, those are the ones that I've included just because they're the locations and the coordinates are always in the same place, you can use these. So if you, let's say test for block and set block, 0, 100, 0, then that's where they are. It's either a test for block or a set block, and that's where they are. Uh, if you only want, let's only have test for block, filter, none were found, only a set block, filter, those are they. So that's how you do that. Uh, if you go over to here, deselect, you will see these are the ones with all three. So if you, let's go filter. You can actually, let's say, let's select all of them and click filter. There are three found. If I deselect summon, then you'll only find two of them because some of them, summons right there and that doesn't have it. Also, um, it these actually work for relative values as well. So if you go to filter, even though these are um, relative values for the 0, 100, 0, if you select 0, 100, 0, this will work for relative values as well. So if you select them all, it still will find 3. Hopefully. Come on. There it goes. So yep, there's 3. And yeah, so it's easy to find coordinates. Um, I use this to find, as I said, the, um, a block that's like right here. And then uh, a command block was saying it to error and it wasn't supposed to be. That I had no idea where it was. So I just I just wrote the filter that I ran on the entire world. And it told me exactly where the set block at this coordinate to error was. So it makes it really easy and it, I think it'd be really helpful because after um, a, map, a map gets really huge, it's really hard to find exactly where a command block is. So this makes it easy and yeah. So I have a couple more that I'm going to be releasing, but that, those are the two that I wanted to release now because people have been asking for them. Um, these will be down, available for download on my maps page or my um, MC Edit filters page and website. It's linked below and then there's also a maps page on the website that you might want to check out. Um, I actually am updating some of my maps now, and with the new features in one point in this new snapshot of the year, I am very excited because they add um, adventure mode. You can no longer break, break break blocks, so you will actually be able to like customize that and no more breaking glass, which will be great because that is the most annoying thing in the entire world. So I can use glass without having to worry about people breaking them. So yeah, 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.